Fat Cargo with his pal Spinner and Battlefoot in another exciting adventure, Road Race. Early morning finds Clutch and Company at the Ocean Pier supervising the loading of their homemade special Grand Prix race car. It won't be long now, Spinner, and we'll be on our way to the little country of Forgonia. Golly! Our first foreign sports car road race. I can hardly wait. Wow! Wow! You tuck my Rubenschnitzel special V12 away safely, Fred Sneaky. You can count on me, Your Grace. Yes, sirree. Who are those men, Clutch? The famous Count Rubenschnitzel and his mechanic, Fred Sneaky. He's won trophies all over the world, including the Rubenschnitzel Gold Cup. Gosh, he'll be tough competition. Come on, Spinner. Our racer is loaded. Let's get on board. And stay with the car every minute. There are strangers on board. Careful, I said. If you get one scratch on that, I'll sue the shipping company. Gosh, the Count doesn't seem very friendly, huh, Clutch? No, he's not, Spinner. But he's a very fine driver. By the way, we'd better keep a sharp eye on our own car. We wouldn't want anything to happen to it. Don't worry, Clutch. We'll watch her. Hey, Paddlefoot. Whoa! Whoa! I sure like the water, Clutch. Yes, it's great for a change. By the way, our old friend Colonel Twaddle is entered in the race with his inline flathead Twaddle 6. A car he built himself? You bet. A backyard special, just like our own. Here comes that man and his dog. Don't touch that dog, Cedric. It may be contaminated. Oh, it's all right, Paddlefoot, old boy. We know better. Did you see that homemade racer being loaded as we got on, Cedric? I thought it looked like a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Several days and nights pass as the ship nears the little seaport of Forgonia. Cargo's car looks pretty good. He might have a real good chance of winning. Maybe we'd better... Shh, Paddlefoot, be quiet. Do you want to wake up the rest of the ship? <laughs> seems to be secured just fine. Let's go, boy. There's Forgonia. Gee, what a pretty place. There they are, my dear friends, the king and queen of Forgonia. Just wait until you see how glad the king is to see me. They can hardly wait to shake hands with me. When I win this race, I'll be a guest in the king's court. They didn't even say hello to me. Clutch boy, welcome to Forgonia. We haven't had the honor of seeing you since you saved my husband's life from those highway robbers. But you must autograph your adventure logbook for me, Clutch. Thanks, Your Highness. This is indeed a surprise. Oh, uh, these are my young pals, Spinner and Paddlefoot. Uh, how do you do, Your Honors? <laughs> Clutch, you and your friends are invited to be guests at court. We're very much honored, Your Highness. Curses. I'll get even with that clutch cargo for this insult. Just wait until the race gets underway. What terrible things does the Count have in mind? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch and company were on their way to Forgonia for the international sports car race. Count Rubenschnitzer is also entered. With him is his dog, Cedric, and his mechanic, Fred Sneaky. After arriving in Forgonia and being snubbed by the king and queen... I'll get even with that clutch cargo for this insult. Just wait until the race gets underway. The day of the Forgonia Grand Prix International Road Race arrives. Everyone is in a festive mood. The colorful crowd is filled with excitement in anticipation of the arrival of the king and queen of Borgonia. Drivers are taking their positions. This is sure exciting, Clutch. It's a big event.
hand spinner. And a very important one. Look, Clutch. Here comes Count Rubischnitzer. In first place will be Count Rubischnitzer. Second place, Clutch Cargo. Third place, Colonel Twaddle in his blue inline peasants. And Frenchy McDougall in his powder blue number three. Why is the Count first? Because he is the champion spinner. Here's Colonel Twaddle. And golly, look at his car. Good show, Clutch Boy. Ladies and gentlemen, the parade is about to begin. The King and Queen of Borgonia will lead the procession. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, their royal highnesses, the King and Queen of Borgonia. Everything ready. I wouldn't want to lose this race. Everything set, Count. He's probably getting last-minute instructions. Ladies and gentlemen, the King. Welcome, all my loyal subjects and friends, to this great racing event. Her Royal Highness, the Queen, has been named the official starter. He's the best driver win. Jimmy Dougal are fighting for position. and get to the tunnel. As they round the back turn, it is still Count Rubisnitzer. Watch that map closely, Spinner. Our first obstacle seems to be a tunnel. Let me know when we're coming to the turn. We can't pass now, Clutch. There's a single lane tunnel ahead. Okay, Spinner. We'll wait. Safety comes first. in the tunnel. How will they get out? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Road Race. You remember last time the international sports car race had officially begun. Just before the start, Fred Sneaky if everything was all right. Then Sneaky sneaked off through the bushes. As Clutch entered the tunnel... What? Oh, no! That's right! The count went right through, and as soon as he passed, someone tricked us into thinking there was a train in that tunnel. They're going through. But I saw the headlight, and I heard the whistle. Leads by almost three miles. Here comes the horses. They are 
our catching lab. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, Sneaky, let her go. This ought to stop him. Here's a clear level stretch, Clutch. We just step on the gas and make up for losses. Oh, no, a brick wall right across the road and no place to turn out. Hold on! <laughs> we stopped just in time. We did. But here comes Colonel Dwardle. This wall is made out of paper mache. It sure fooled me. I wonder who's behind all this. Uh oh, something apparently happened to clutch cargo in the back. Yeah. Now, I guess that me. slowed them down, eh, Cedric? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. But wait until they hit the next obstacle. <laughs> Someone was trying to wreck us again. Oh, 
Metro Bus, Grand Tour BX7, coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, the racers have now passed the halfway mark. They're now headed towards the finish line. Dutch Cargo is well out ahead and... the map, Sprinter. What kind of road are we on? There's a 20 degree turn just ahead and then a half mile straight away. and company traveling over a hundred miles an hour and the road out. Is this the end? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Road Race. You remember last time, Clutch and Company and the other racers came through the snowstorm without mishap. Farther along, the Count and his helper put a paper cow in the road to slow them down. And finally, a much dirtier trick, a detour sign. The road's out! Oh, no! Anything. Stop, clutch, cargo. Okay, boss. I got a sneaky plan. The royal train has stopped at the highest peak to view the finish of the race. Good show, clutch. You got things to win. Why, I do believe we just passed our engineer. Oh, my. The Royal Train is running away. What? The Royal Train! It's running away! You're right, sir. There's no engineer in that cab. Hang on. We're going after the train. Ladies and gentlemen, something is wrong. Clutch Cargo, who only a moment ago was a sure winner, suddenly swerved from the track and is headed across the field. He might win yet. Look at him go. Sneaky. Cargo's coming up fast. Get ready with his cement cow. I'm standing by, boss. Just give the word. He's trying to keep us from passing. Cargo won't beat us now. Cow! beyond the call of duty, it is my honor to award Clutch, Spinner, and Pedalfoot the Royal Heart. <laughs> and so ends the story of Clutch Cargo with his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot and Road Race. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.